Imagine writing a book 500 years ago that people are still talking about today. Nostradamus, a 16th century French astrologer, physician and reputed seer, penned cryptic quatrains that some believe predict everything from world wars to natural disasters. But how much of it is real? Are these just coincidences or something more? You're watching Fact Frenzy, where we bring you bite-sized, mind-blowing information on a wide range of topics. Nostradamus, born Michel de Nostradamus in 1503, grew up in a time of great turmoil. Plagues, wars and the Renaissance marked an era ripe for a man of his talents. Trained as a physician, he treated victims of the plague before turning his attention to the stars. His book, Les Prophéties, published in 1555, contains 942 quatrains, four-line verses written in a mix of French, Latin, Greek and other languages. These verses have fascinated and perplexed readers for centuries, but what makes them so compelling? One of the most famous quatrains is said to have predicted the Great Fire of London in 1666. The blood of the just will be lacking in London. Burnt up in the fire of the 66, the ancient lady will topple from her high place. Many of the same sect will be killed. The fire did indeed devastate London, starting in a baker's shop and destroying much of the city. Coincidence, perhaps, but it's the specificity of 66 that makes people wonder. Was Nostradamus truly seeing into the future? Fast forward to World War II and people point to another of his quatrains. From the depths of the west of Europe, a young child will be born of poor people. He who by his tongue will seduce a great troop, his fame will increase towards the realm of the east. Many interpret this as predicting Adolf Hitler's rise to power. Born in Austria to a modest family, Hitler's powerful oratory skills and subsequent rise did lead to global conflict aligning eerily with Nostradamus' verse. Yet, skeptics argue that Nostradamus' quatrains are so vague and open to interpretation that they could be twisted to fit countless historical events. After all, hindsight is 2020ths. But here's where it gets really interesting. Nostradamus didn't just focus on his era, he predicted far into the future. One quatrain even seems to touch on 9 elevenths. Earth-shaking fire from the center of the earth will cause tremors around the new city. Two great rocks will war for a long time, then Arethusa will redden a new river. New York, often referred to as the New City, did experience an earth-shaking fire on September 11, 2001, when the World Trade Center towers fell. The imagery of two great rocks could be seen as the Twin Towers and the New River might symbolize the aftermath of the disaster. Was Nostradamus seeing 500 years into the future, or is this just another case of seeing what we want to see? While believers argue that Nostradamus's predictions are proof of his otherworldly foresight, critics say it's all a matter of interpretation. His verses are so vague, full of obscure references and metaphors, that they can be applied to almost any event. And let's not forget the element of translation. Errors and reinterpretations over centuries have changed the meanings of many quatrains. Yet despite all this skepticism, Nostradamus's appeal endures. His writings tap into our deep-seated desire to know the future, to find order in chaos. The fact that his quatrains still provoke debate shows their power, whether through actual predictions or simply human fascination with the unknown. But here's the big question. Is it really possible to predict the future, or are we just connecting dots where none exist? Nostradamus remains a figure of intrigue, and whether or not you believe in his prophecies, there's no denying the lasting impact of his work. So, what do you think? Was Nostradamus a visionary, a fraud, or just really good at writing in riddles? Let us know in the comments below. Enjoyed this video? Don't forget to like, follow, comment, and share. For more mind-blowing content, stay tuned to Fact Frenzy.